Got Steve Fair from Adobe today and we're going to be talking about Acrobat. There's a new version out. Acrobat makes those little PDFs, the portable document formats. You've probably seen them in your attachments before. Uh, but you know, a lot of people don't know where they come from, like how you make them. <laughs> where do they come from? Where they come Just from? arrive in our inbox and, uh, and cause us to have to work, which is yeah. not a good thing. But we've updated the whole Acrobat family from the free Adobe Reader through Acrobat Standard, Acrobat Professional, all the way to something new called Acrobat 3D. The first thing I want to show you, Mike, uh, I think is relevant for everybody is we get a lot of PDFs. Uh, the engineers worked uh, a ton to make it boot fast. If you saw that it boots in less than a second, so you can get to work in your PDF super quickly. So is that the new Acrobat PDF Reader 8? Well, this is, this is Acrobat, but all of the whole family's been uh, engineered to boot extremely quickly okay. and, get you to, and get you to work really quickly. Cool. Um, and that, that's what it's all about, right? I mean, we want people to be productive with PDFs. And one of the things that we found over the years is that there's a lot of power in Acrobat that people really can't get to. Uh, there's a ton of features that, uh, because of the UI and all that kind of stuff, people don't necessarily find, even if they, they own Acrobat. So what we've done is we've changed the interface to allow all that power to come a little bit more to the surface. First thing I want to show you, well, there's a button here for Create PDF. I don't think we have to show that, because making a PDF is, is pretty straightforward and pretty simple. You can make a PDF out of anything, CAD files, basically anything on your computer can become a PDF. What we want to do is, is show you how the making of a PDF is the start line. So I'm going to show you something called Combined Files. I cl click on the Combined Files icon, I'll click on this link here, and it gives us this little Combined File uh, interface. And I'm going to add files uh, from a file folder here. I have it on my desktop. In this file folder, as you can see, I've got Excel documents, Word documents. I'm just going to hit Control A and select all of them and add the files. And it gives us this little interface. And what, what I can do is take these files. You can see there's PDFs here. There's a Word document. There's a CAD file. And I can move these up and down. So what, what you want to do is you want to send somebody a polished, organized document. It's, it's, it's a little cruel to send somebody an email with 16 files in it and say, hey, can you give me your feedback on these I documents? That, I get that all the time. Don't it's you? Just, yeah, it's a pain. And then the really sophisticated people zip it. And then it just sort of explodes all over your desktop, and you, and you really there's no organization there. So with the combined file feature, you can really make it look the way you want it to look. So, so it's, it's going to make it almost like a little book. Yeah, exactly. So this is you know if we pull that sort of pre-baked out of the oven, this is what it looks like, and you can see in here we've got uh, you know the cover page that we created. We've got a plan document, a marketing document, a legal contract. Uh, there's a, this is an AutoCAD file. The AutoCAD file respects all of the layers. You know, as you, if you zoom in here, you can zoom into great detail. It really respects you know, everything that you're going to want to get out of a, a CAD file. And this is all in one polished document that somebody can begin to, is that a PowerPoint? Uh, to give you feedback. That's a PowerPoint document. Uh, and I think at the bottom one here, we've got uh, a Microsoft Project file. So everything all in one container. You're not changing resolutions. You're not dealing with looking at it through this way and launching four different applications. What if you don't have AutoCAD, for instance? What are you going to do when somebody sends you a CAD file? So just creating a single polished document that the work can really begin uh, once you've got that, that PDF. Uh, well, well, that's the cool thing uh, a lot of people don't realize, uh, and that's the power of the PDF, that you don't have to have that program on your end. So if someone c uh, created something in AutoCAD, you don't have to have AutoCAD on your your desktop to see the drawings and that. It's a good point. One of the things that a lot of people don't understand is the difference between having Acrobat and the reader. Uh, you know, viewing and printing and all that kind of cool stuff works really well in the reader. It's free, which is, that's which the benefit. Like. Yeah, yeah, free is good. With, as an owner of Acrobat, you can turn on features in the reader that, um, that somebody can't see necessarily by just owning the free reader. So as an Acrobat owner, you get to publish to that free reader and turn all these cool features like saving and digital signatures and all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, the other thing that's really important uh, these days is, is security. And security of information is a complex topic. Uh, we've got digital signatures, all that kind of stuff. The other thing is that documents like this may have sensitive information on them. For instance, we've got a name here of, as the approver. Well, what if we're sending it out to a broader audience and we don't want people to see that name? If you're working in government work or security work, you want to be able to take that information out. And taking that information out is called redacting. Uh, so we've got a redaction tool. I just want everybody to know out there that drawing a black box over, a bo over some text <laughs> is not removing the data, right? You're just covering it with a black box. It's yeah. still there. So if I do a search in this document now and I search on John Jacobs, for instance, uh, you'll see that Acrobat finds that this is, yeah, you know, this is the text of John Jacobs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. And it'll go through all the different files and documents that you've had in that one. Yeah. 
And again, for internal use, maybe we want everybody to see that the approval of John Jacobs. But if I send this outside the firewall or outside of our company, maybe that's nobody's business. So I'm going to select that text. If I simply apply the redaction, uh, you'll see that it, it, it gives me a warning. It says you're about to permanently remove all this information. It draws a black box over it. That data, that John Jacobs information is now completely gone. If I go back up here into the search box and search again, uh, you're going to get feedback saying it's searched the entire document and that name doesn't exist. Very, very important for dealing with sensitive information, I think, which is very important uh, in this day and age. The other thing is that's interesting about sensitive information is that um, computers deal with metadata, right? Our digital cameras do it on the digital images, background information, when the shot was taken. This document has a lot of information about who created the document, where the document's been, and again, that, that's that helps computers deal with, sort the data and all that kind of stuff. But when you're sending it out, that metadata may not be anybody's business but your own. But a lot of people don't realize that stuff's in the background. It, it's very true. If you're working in legal environments and things of that nature, um, it's nobody's business, right? So again, the, the ability to take this document and um, examine it, and take that data out. You know, simply ah, just take just metadata a box, eh? and, and remove all of the metadata so that it's going out. You're going to share information um, you know, with your partners and your customers. You're going to share the information that you want to share and nothing more and nothing less, which I think is a, a really compelling part of, uh, of Acrobat. Very cool. Lots of features. How much is Acrobat? Uh, Acrobat runs from free for the free Adobe Reader to $300 to $400 for Acrobat Professional and then $999 for Acrobat 3D. Very cool. Steve Fair from Adobe. Thank <laughs> you.